In September 2016, members of the Timber Framers Guild convened in upstate New York in the village of Schuylerville to take part in the fabrication of a new gateway visitor center for the Hudson River Valley and Champlain Canal region. Over 50 guild members from across North America came together to help the village of Schuylerville realize its vision of renewing its economy through heritage tourism. The Gateway Visitor Center is central to that vision. One of the key criteria in real estate is location. And this location where the Gateway Visitor Center is going to be built is crucial to the village of Schuylerville here. What is it that we have? What is it that happened here that happened no place else? And that thing that happened is the American victory at Saratoga, the surrender of Burgoyne's army. The surrender of General Burgoyne to General Gates turned out to be the first time in the history of the world that an entire British army had been defeated and surrendered in mass, if you will, and resulted in the ultimate American victory in the Revolutionary War and the formation of our country as we know it today. We need a nucleus to tell the story, a starting point where people can get an overview of what happened and then ultimately be directed out to the various points of interest. There's thousands and thousands of people who travel historic Route 4 from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. They have no idea where all the stops are along the way. This visitor center is going to put us in a position where all of the communities who have historic spots or historic sites in them along the Hudson River are going to have a spot to display that and to let people know. We sort of had a, a vision of what we wanted, but we didn't have the expertise and the knowledge, so as some research started to be done, the Timber Frame Guild rose to the top immediately here in terms of their experience, in terms of the ability to steer us in the right direction. We had a vision, but we didn't know how to get the job done. To do something like this requires vision and will. Those are the two things that I see common from our communities that we partner with. If your community has the vision and the will, we have the way. There's no substitute for first-hand practical experience which the Timber Frame Guild has brought to this project, not only from the design perspective, but from the actual construction perspective as well. Because we're working here on the west side of the Hudson in historic Dutch territory, we're building a timber frame with Dutch influences. So the place and the history of the place really do truly influence the work that we're doing here today. People have traveled quite a ways to get here. Uh, several people from Quebec, people from Ontario, from British Columbia, all over the states. This is really my first major guild project, so it's been really fun for me to see how this unfolds and how many other young people there are. We have people of all levels of skill. I would say I, I fall in there somewhere in the middle, which is great because that means I, there's lots of people I can learn from. And you know, there's people around who have a little bit less experience, you get to teach a little bit. And that can be, you know, just as valuable. We're working in a very traditional mode right now with a lot of hand tool work, but also traditional methodologies. The old ways in particular, there's a reason that those methods have survived over the centuries. If they didn't work, those buildings aren't around anymore. So the methods that survived were the best ways to do things. 
I did have a bit of hand tool experience from this course that I took, but was pretty intimidated by the power tools involved in timber framing. So I found one other woman on here who's about the same build as I am, and uh, she does it like it ain't no thing. I find a really nice balance between the speed and efficiency of power tools and the precision and enjoyment you can get from working with hand tools. So it's a fun debate, but the truth is you need both. One of the things the participants appreciate most are some of the informal evenings. Last night there was a bonfire. Some of the timber framers who are here are also musicians, and they play some good tunes for everyone. There's just a, a really nice sense of community amongst this group. There's also a lot of networking, and uh, people are very willingly sharing their contacts and they're suggesting places I could go and look for work. So, so it's really uh, quite a supportive environment to be in. Of course, we want people to take back new skills and new knowledge. But I think the most enduring thing they will take back are the new friendships that they make and the acquaintances and the contacts that will continue to build our community, just strengthen our community throughout North America. Upon completion of the fabrication phase of the project, all the pieces are put into storage while the foundation is prepared for the final raising, which will take place nine months later in June 2017. The Mullins came up with their A-frames and block and tackle, um, set up a rig and we hoisted up the frames. We had people pulling on ropes, um, we got two frames up the first day. And then we started on Saturday and we had another 40, 45 people. We had some community members pulling on the ropes and pulling the sides of the building up, so everybody was really in a great mood. And then after that point, we moved to a crane raising where we dropped on all the plates and the guys up there were just true professionals and we pushed and we got it done, I think about eight o'clock last night. My emotions, I'm very humbled by what's happened here. Um, the level of outreach on the part of both the timber frame community and the local community is just absolutely humbling. I'm thrilled to death. This has been 10 years of a lot of hard work by a lot of people. We have tens of thousands of tourists to come to this area every summer, and we're going to be able to direct them to where all the historic sites are. So we're figuring that early next year in the spring, the building will be completed and we will have tourists pulling in right here in the spot where I'm standing. Knowing that what we're building here is going to leave a significant impact on this community, that feels incredible. You know, that's like why do you do anything in your life ultimately when you really ask those big questions? It's to make really good connections with other humans and hopefully improve each other's lives. It's very sad to break up at the end of this event and think that maybe we'll never get to work together again. So the main thing I hope is that we'll all get together again and build another beautiful building, whether it be next year or a couple years down the road. Yeah.